What's going on guys? Hype here and today I'm going to be showing you my deck profile of my Geiger guys as of 2014. So uh, please make sure you comment, rate and subscribe if you like the video only of course and uh, let's get started. First of all we start with three Gaga Gar Magicians. These are the mofos of this deck. These make the magic happen. Without these you're pretty much screwed so you have to be in it and has to be a Gaga Gar deck with them. So there we go. Second I run two Gaga Gar Girl. She she, she can be a win factor though if you have her out on the field with Magician. And uh, there's a little combo you can do with her later, so I'll show you that. Two of them. Next is three Gaga Gaga Child. This little kid helps you do some big XYZ plays and also combos with that, ma not that magician, Gaga Gaga Magician, sorry. Next. We have a few other things. We have Gaga Caesar. Can make a really good play with Trigodia in the graveyard and a few extra other sorry. A few extra other Gaga guys on the field. And you can normally bring out uh, one sec, once again. Normally bring out this guy. Yep. And normally people don't expect a Gaga Gaga guy, guy, guy deck to bring out this guy. And you pop three thousand XP XP fucking my points. And then we have one Gaga Ghana just to stop OTKs and everything else. And one Trigodia. Trigodia is Helps out in the deck. Okay. And then I run two Mystic Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever, whatever you want to call them. These help you get out your Gaga Gar monsters pretty quick and helps to thin the deck down a bit. Then I run two Summoner Monks because there is a lot of uh, spells in this deck. If you need a Gaga Gar monster, like that, boom, picture spell, get your guy guy right. Normal summon another guy guy guy, boom, XYZ, big XYZ. And normally your opponents don't expect that as well. Um, I run two Cyber Dragons as well, just for straight up XYZ level fives. Pretty self explanatory there. Uh, then I run. Spirit Reaper, because sometimes you just need to stall and uh, get your bearings back and then make another big play. A Gauze, because God is just a beast, if I'm honest. Absolute beast. And then a BLS, because he's just a unit on his own. Absolute beast of a card. And it helps the deck. And now into my spells, spell cards. I run three Gaga Gar Revenges because the deck wouldn't work without these. Just a, basically a monster reborn for Gaga Gars. And use this when you XYZ as well, you get a 300 attack boost, so it's, which is pretty good. I run one MST because uh, I don't I don't like running three or two just one. Got a duality to help out thin the deck out and a forbidden lance to stop effects destroying my Gaga cars when I try and make a big play. But yeah. Then. I roll with three Gaga Gar bolts. A lot of people underestimate this card, like your opponents, if they don't know what it is, because it can fuck up anything. Anything on the field can fuck it up. And some people think it's OP, but fuck yeah, I love it. 
next. Well, with two Gaga Gaga backs, you have to learn to play this at the correct time because if you destroy your Gaga guys by effects, it doesn't work. So you have to attack and then you pick life points to get your Gaga back. And that's when you go off. So, and then I run just a one Dark Hall. And that's it for the spell cards. We move on to the traps. And one call of the haunted. One song warning. Magician's circle. This this comes in handy. So many times for me. I don't know if it does for anyone else, but, but, but I like it. And we're on one torrential t tribute. One bottom was trap hall. Mirror force. And a compulse. I love this card so much. You get a big march to eight, boom. Get off the field. Don't even like you. So that's it for the traps. XYZ. XYZ now. And we'll go with the big guys first. Big guy. Guy guy deck. Have to have one of these. Just have to. Heretic. These guys, big beater, pop cards. People don't like him. I won from one Armageddon, another one for pop cards. And you have to, in a guy, you have to run Cowboy. And he can be pretty useful sometimes. Not all the time. And next, XYZ. If you're doing a guy, you deck, you have to. It's a definite must. You have to use this. You combo this card with Magician and Girl, and it's an OTK, OTK, OTK card. This card is legit. Yes, OTK. Won me so many games. This so many. Um, this card shuts down spells and traps. So basically they use Dark Hall, you just say, fuck off, no you don't, love this card. Um, Drag Bouncer, pretty good card for effect monsters, you just say, I don't like your effect, go away. Um, Master Key Beetle, hmm. don't really use it that much, I should, because it's, it's a good card anyway. Gauntlet Launcher, good for getting rid of cards on the field. Um, I guess have a good card. Showed you this one already. Um, then I run a Volcosaurus. I've had that a few times, saying my ass. Um, gimmick puppet. Pretty good as well. And the Mile. And the last one, why not them mains? Because sometimes you will need to go into this card and it will help. And you might even make a comeback with this. So even first turn if you can, sometimes. Not always because it's not the best thing to do. But yeah, getting this card out does save your ass. And sometimes you just get rid of the monster on the field. Attack, detach it, and end of your turn, pop it. You may lose some life points, but. Oh well. Um, that about rounds it up for Gaga Gaga Deck Profile 2014. If you have any suggestions to make it better or what you want, would like to run in your Gaga Gaga Deck, leave them in the comments below. And uh, one extra card, token card, boom. Full shot dragon. Peace guys, thanks for watching and boom.